welcome back to Sally's face got shocked and then he's everything is sad every every single person ended in sadness everyone ended every single person is ended it, it, it's a it's it's <laughs> it's a, it was a shocking episode last episode i'm still recovering from it this game has caused me to have trust issues and i will never trust bologna sandwiches ever again and the person who ever gives me bologna sandwiches will be on my list for the rest of my life no one offer me a sandwich i mean a bologna sandwich <laughs> do not offer me people do not offer me a bologna sandwich ever again i will not trust you and you will be on my list it's all a bunch of bologna any okay that that was that was <laughs> bologna and shit is the theme of the day let's play so i loaded up the game and i was about to start uh, before i started i noticed there's a little piece of something over here and it's a domino it did and it screams at you in a low bass note what is that what? Why is it? Why can't I just pick it up? Five green dots. Does that mean anything? Okay, look, I, this is like last time when there was a code on the wall. I'm going to take a picture of this shit because you never know what I'm going to need it for. So I'm taking pictures. I'm using my real life to interact with the game. <laughs> Oh, uh, not the, not the graves again, dude. This is not where I wanted to start. This is not now where I wanted to start. No, soda, soda. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, oh God, no, please not again. I don't want to do, no, don't show it to me. Don't show me the mask. I'm, I'm done, I'm done. I'm... I'm... All right, let's go. D give it to me. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've been through the shock. I've grieved. I pissed myself to sleep last night. <laughs> Kissed myself. I, I... <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but okay. All right, here we are. It's, how do you, how do you kiss yourself? <laughs> Like this, like an inverted, like... Like suck your lips inward? Like... <laughs> it's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. I hope he's okay. Oh, that's right. So Todd escapes from the institution. Wait, pause, pause, pause before we continue. How the hell does Todd escape from the institution? I have a question. Todd had red eyes at the end of episode three. It was revealed he had red eyes. He had red eyes in episode four. After everything happened, I was walking out and Todd was freaking out, but Todd had red eyes, just like the red eye demon. I didn't react to it because I was emotionally invested in everything else. But now that I think about it, is Todd actually the demon? We're gonna find out. What what is what what is up with Todd's red eyes? Did the demon take a form as Todd? I should ask Neil if Todd is actually a monster in <laughs> Stop. He's gotta be under that darn church. It's the one place we haven't been able to get to. They're down there. I know they are. And they have my Todd. Did you get the rest of that C4 from your army friend? Excuse me? A C4? For explosions? I got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so. Yeah, we should go Tuesday night. That's when they're least active. Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there, we won't. We're going to get Todd and then blow that place to bits. Yes, please. Neil, I'm serious. So am I. But if we do get caught, then yeah, uh, we take them down with us. I'm ready. Good. At least one of us is. Holy shit. Okay, there's so many notes in here. What is this notes? Oh my god, a lot of reading. <clears throat> Summary of cultist notes. Todd, he's been infected by the dark. This has occurred in other people across Knockville and is usually brought on by the devourers of God. Other findings suggest that this process may also be able to, ta to take place naturally without intervention from occult rituals. At first, we were able to speak with Todd and were able to get some information from him. Over time, the darkness spread and Todd lost that lucidity. Now he's escaped from the hospital with help from the cult. Luckily, they want him alive, so he's safe there until we can figure out how to break him out. In the meantime, we have continued Todd's work on finding a cure to reverse the infection and cleanse the possessed body. I believe we are close to figuring it out. We just need a bit more time. So Todd's possessed. What have I always said? Don't fuck with possessed chat. Mysterious Mailer, a cultist insider providing helpful intel, but who is it? And why are they betraying the cult to help us? We still don't know the answers to these questions, though we wouldn't have gotten this far without their assistance. They've provided us with details about cult operations and locations, albeit vague, quickly scribbled notes. 
Phelps Ministry. It is not simply an old church that sits on Chapel Hill. The church is the entire point for the main temple of the Devourers. After the mysterious destruction of the Addison Temple, the Phelps Temple was heavily guarded for a while. Eventually, the security loosened up. It's our suspicion that this is due to the cult having indoctrinated the majority of, if not all, of the local government leaders. We have to be careful who we trust. Jesus Christ, so it's a whole story. Have you fed Maple yet? I tried, she's still not eating. I'll see if I have any luck. Do you need a hand? Nah, I've got it. Who's Maple? Oh, Maple is Chug's girl, right? Or was her name Autumn or Leaves or some shit? I forgot. Did you bring the new package to the shed? Yup, you think you found a connection with Todd's work? I think it's something big, a missing piece I've been wondering about. I hope you're right. We're about due for some good luck. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, so to the shed it is. We gotta go to the shed. This is bad, dude. This doesn't feel right. Some- this is- this is- this is fucked up. I don't feel right not having pigtails. I just got here. Okay, so not that way. We go into the shed. Everything is dead, dude! Everything's sad and depressed! What's in here? A picture. Who dis? I remember taking this photo. It was after Larry's dad left. Larry and his mom stayed with his grandmother for a few years. Oh, that's Larry. They lived down the road from me. That's when we became good friends. Come on, man. All right. Uh, next, uh, Gizmo. Where the fuck is Gizmo, dude? I need. A, I need a cat. I need a pet. I need. A, hi, Gizmo. You need anything? He hasn't left your room since the execution. It's like he knows. Gizmo. Gizmo. Go take a shower, fool. Wear your cap. Play some video games. Man. Oh, wait. I just pressed A over here thinking I was gonna pick something up from the mirror. Look what I found. Oh, these have codes in them. I'm taking a picture of this one. I'm gonna need this later. I guarantee it. All right, let's go down to the basement. So this game doesn't tell you exactly what's uh, what you're able to pick up. Who the fuck is that? Hey, Maple, how are you today? Neil and I are gonna get Todd back soon. We may have to stick him in with you at least until we can figure out a better solution. I hope you don't mind. I've got to run to the shed real quick, but when I get back in, uh, we'll get you some nice warm soup. Maple a zombie? I thought Maple was just depressed because Sal ended up killing Soda and Chug. Maple was that really quiet bitch, right? The one that was like, uh, yep, yep, that, the one that looked like a zombie to begin with. Holy shit, notes of Maple's corruption. Day one, Maple has become a threat to herself and others had to be locked up. Day seven, most of the time, Maple remains conscious and alert. She is grateful that we're working to find a way to help her. Day 11, the corruption seems to be most active at night. Today, we reinforced the cage and added restraints for everyone's safety. Maple didn't have any idea of the restraints, but understood why they were needed. The infection is getting worse. We're only able to speak with Maple about 50% of the time. The rest of the time, she acts like some kind of demon or something driven by violence. Day 32, Maple has become difficult to interact with at all, and her physical appearance has begun to change. Day 39, she started screaming during the night and didn't stop until her throat bled. Holy shit. Bitch broke her voice box. The screaming has continued the past few nights. Luckily, no one lives close enough to hear it, and the basement muffles most of the sound anyway. Day 45, her screaming finally stopped, but she's not looking so great. We can't get her to eat anything. She's still refusing to eat. We've been forced feeding her as much as we can, but it's very difficult. Maple is starting to smell pretty bad, still not eating. So this is the same thing as what happened to the lady in the VHS tapes, whoever that was. There's like a step by step process of what happens when someone gets corrupted. Is this what happened to Todd as well? Todd's notes. The final prophecy of Citlali Gray. Citlali was the quinceañera that we went to the other day. She had a really cool cake and a really nice dance. Okay, enough. Uh, <laughs> notes. Citlali, a Native American seer, origin unknown, previous council member that are the devourers of God, possibly of the original formation. Asintma is referring to a collection of three pyramids. I have obtained one of them and have been searching for the other two. I'm not sure exactly who the child of the abomination is, but if they're an enemy of the cult, then they could be a much needed ally. Okay, so some about pyramids. Now we got aliens? Chinga all the way. This shit never ends. Grab the package. What package? No, no, there's a pyramid right there with the package. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. Fuck it. Must be in case I missed something. We got these weird pyramid things in the mail. Another package from a mysterious cult cultist insider. Todd had a third pyramid in the shed. In his notes, he says he found it in the temple under the old apartments. They seem to be pretty important. There are several mentions of a prophecy in Todd's notes about them. He was actively looking for the other two. I think they might be linked to you somehow. No matter how I turn these, nothing happens. I thought something would happen in time. Sal, there's something else I need to tell you. She's trying to bring him back. 
The replacements were sloppy at first, but they're getting better now. It's harder to tell the difference. I can't trust anyone. Those things creep me out, dude. They aren't human. Oh, I missed making the voice that. <laughs> Larry! Larry! I know what you mean. So you think that pyramid thing that Todd found could help, could help us find Sal? It seems like it. I've pieced together what I could find about the old cult prophecies. And from what I can tell, there are three pyramids that will summon their destruction. All signs point to Sal as the one who can stop them. I'm not sure how or why, but it's the best chance we have. I always knew Sally Face would do great things. Don't give up on him, Ash. You have to find him. I won't ever. I just need to find the other two pyramids. Once I'm free from this fucking treehouse, I'll help you find him. Why can't you just get the old lady bitch to help you, right? The, the, I thought you, were, you weren't stuck to the treehouse anymore. Larry, I don't know if this is a good idea. What if burning down the treehouse only makes things worse? Trust me, I can't get any worse. I can't live like this anymore. Or, you know, not live, but wh whatever. I, I can't stay stuck in this place forever. You don't know what it's like. It's torture. I can feel it changing me. Nothing else has worked to break the binding spell. What if you just end up in the black room instead of being free? Your soul will dissolve into darkness. We don't know that for sure, and even so, the nothingness could be better than existing like this. Please, Ash, you have to help me. If I do this, you have to promise me you'll be okay. Promise me you won't fade away. I promise. Stop making- Stop making me emotional, dude. Not right now. Is Larry okay? I went back to the burnt tree every night for weeks. It's just gone. I think Larry just tricked Ash into set setting him free, you know? It was the best thing to happen for Larry. He's probably in a better place, but God, fuck, dude, this is so... I can't bring myself to go anymore. Another screw up in a long list of my failures. This morning I went over to Neil's place, but what happened at Neil's place? I was just there. Hello? Neil? You home? Oh, his backpack. I grabbed the C4 from Neil's bag since we were supposed to go to the temple that night. Uh, my girl just has C4 and a detonator. I wonder if they got Neil because they knew. More of Todd's notes, the legend of the Greys. The Grey family is a tribe of Native Americans, but there aren't many historical records of them. Even though there are relatives of the Greys living in Knockfell today, their ancestry appears to be more legend than a fact. It is said that their family was formed when a great owl swooped down from the night sky and made love to a man who was lost in the woods. <laughs> Yo, man got got by an owl, brother. <laughs> oh, shit. It was probably a furry dressed in an owl costume. Weeks later, a beautiful young woman burst out from inside of the man. <laughs> Fuck! A nearby pack of wolves came to eat the bits of flesh of the man. By eating his flesh, the wolves became indebted to the young woman. Over time, the pack became human and together with the young woman formed the first members of the Grey tribe. Descendants of the woman are said to have the ability to see the future. The origin story was likely fabricated and then evolved over time. However, there may be a grain of truth to the proclamation of psychic abilities. The slaughtering of children? <laughs> what? August 16th, 1984, 255 children and 32 adults were murdered across North America. However, surprisingly, it didn't make many headlines. The story was covered here and there, but not by any major news outlet. It is now my understanding that the cult had something to do with this and was likely the orchestrator of the whole thing. If true, that could mean their reach extends much further than we expected. A terrifying thought. Holy shit, bro. Okay, so what was that lady's name? Gray, um, Sitlali Gray is a part of that family. A descendant maybe of the Grays? The, the psychic people? All right, do I need to go back to the shed for some reason? <gasps> oh, maple! Crap, this isn't good. No shit, that sounded like the front door. Run, run, run like a bitch, run like a bitch. Go upstairs, bro. Ma Maple does like, dude, did she just like bust out? She used her limbs and shit to like bust out. She didn't care. Okay, there's a letter right here. Hold up. Ash, they have Maple and Neil. You need to move quickly. The temple is lightly guarded today. Sneak into the entrance I told you about before. Once you get into the main chamber, you'll have to act stealthily. There are four pillars with inserts in the hold that hold sacred jars. If you place the explosives there, the sure it was sure to bring the place down. Stick them behind the jars and they'll be safe. It's forbidden to touch those jars. Be careful and good luck. Holy fuck. On the back of the letter was a hand drawn map with the location of the jars. I didn't waste any time. I went to the temple right away. So what you're saying is 
Whoever just knocked on the door was that lady from the cult that's helping them. Bitch just busted in, left the note, and left. Map of the four places. So don't enter there or you're fucking dead. So I go left and up. Let's go left and up first. Okay, so now we're on the we're on the west hall, right? We're on the west hall. Yeah, we're on the west hall going up. What if I enter the place, dude? Oh shit, there's someone there. You see that? Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. This is like wait, 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 wait. This is like uh, 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 uh like like daddy hops, Mr. Hops, fucking shitty ass. Rabbit go up around. Oh, I need to place one right in there. I missed one. I missed one. It's in this door over here Don't go. He's gonna see you. He's gonna kill you. He's gonna see you and kill you Correle, 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 correle. Place one right here Correle, way, correle North Hall Oh shit Without the factory, we will lose more members ever since the fire. His orders have been increasingly erratic for many senators. How many senators? Shush, don't talk like that. Do you want to end up like the Parkinson's? You need Parkinson's? I don't think it will work out if you have Parkinson's. Just have faith, sister. That the essential will soon be upon us. Fucking idiots. Can you move, please? Hey! What the fuck? I didn't do that! I didn't- I was not in front of him! How did I get captured? Hey, look! Another one of these things! Oh, chingon, wait, chingon, chingon. Okay, take a picture. Paparazzi, pendejo. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Fucking hate puzzles, way. I, a lot, a lot. I can't stand puzzles. So much shit is going on, dude. There is absolutely so much shit going on. Can't handle it. Oh, go, 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 you can't enter there. Corle, 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 por acá, 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 go, 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 now what do I do? Now what do I do? Where do I go? Exit, exit, exit. Right, 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 right. I think you go in the dungeon, right? Do you go in the dungeon? Ash? Oh, oh, this is where they're keeping them. Yo, dude, Neil. You okay, dog? I, I, I've seen, I've, I've, I've had better days now. What, 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 how the heck did you get here? I'll tell you later. Right now, we gotta get you out of here. What about Maple and Todd? Have you seen them? Maple is in the next cell over, and Todd is here. I saw him when they dragged us here. Maple. <sighs> Sorry, I had to voice actor a little bit. <laughs> they have Todd in a different room. I'm not sure where, though. They knocked me on the head pretty hard. Ash, I think something big is going down real soon. Something bad. Okay, did you see where they put the keys? I'll get you out then. We can grab Maple and Todd. One of the guards has the keys, but it's too dangerous. Even if you could somehow get it, you and I aren't going to be able to handle Maple and Todd. They're too far gone. We can do it. I know we can. I think it's time for plan B. Neil, no! Save yourself, Ash. Someone has to live through this. I'm not leaving you guys down here. I can't lose any more friends. I don't think we have any other option. Oh, you there! You got any tacos? Crap, wait, I don't- I know that voice. Who are you? Travis! Yo! Travis! I was wondering where you've been, bro! Travis! You need to leave. If they catch you in here, it won't end well. Uh, Travis! Travis, dude, you look horrible. What happened? Uh, 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 don't act like you give a shit about me. Just get out of here. Come on, man. You can help us get Maple and Todd. Let's all get out of here together. Trust me when I say it's beyond impossible. I know there's good in you, Travis. Sal saw it too. He stood up for you when no one else would. You know he did. Do this for him. Sal is dead and you will be too if you stay here any longer. Damn it. Why won't you help us? I'm trying to. He's right, Ash. You should go. But it's okay. I've made my peace with it. I'll finally be with my Todd again. Travis pretty much had to drag me out of there. I didn't want to go even though I knew they were right. Travis coming through, bro. Travis coming through, bro. I was going to say what happened with Travis. I wanted to know what happened. Ah, uh, I can see he rejected his father's cult. That motherfucker. Good for you. Travis, good for you. And I know we plan to blow the temple up even if we failed, but I couldn't do it. Really? You fucking suck, Ash! I couldn't bring myself to press that button knowing that our friends are down there. Dude, come on. If you're out there somewhere, please, Sal, I need your help. Please. You can't be gone. You probably have to bring the Game Boy over to the electric chair. And that's where the homie's at. Oh? Oh? Oh, we're just now starting the episode, Memories and Dreams. Orale chingon! It's happening again. The flashes. What am I? 
You are unbound. You are broken. You must balance yourself. Fight the chaos within. Don't let your nightmares infect your reality. Sal, find your center. Don't listen to them, Sal. You must give into your dreams. Give into the chaos to reach your full potential. It's too dangerous. He's not ready. Follow your heart, child. No, listen to your mind. Where am I? You are everywhere and nowhere. What the fuck does that mean, bro? Just tell me where the fuck I am. Am I on like on 6th Street somewhere? Like, <laughs> we are everything and nothing. Have I been here before? You've always been- oh, You know what? Fuck you guys, honestly. But I I'm just gonna be a pixelated mess of Picasso paintings and Bob Ross fields and fucking landscapes painted on this canvas of the eternal house in the void. <laughs> I'm trying to be poetic and philosophical what I while I do this. Okay, there's a black room, a white room, and an upstairs area. Let's check out both rooms first. The struggle of mankind's nipples across the cosmos, and they strive- <laughs> Ripples across- The struggle of mankind ripples across the cosmos. That looks like an N. That's written almost as nipples as they strive to escape the dusk. Yet all things must eventually return to the shadows. Okay, I, I get it. I'm in the shadows. Oh, well, okay, shit. Alright, go to the white room next. <laughs> That's blinding. The dawn of mankind has triumphed over the oldest conflict. They are something from nothing. You must not allow them to be extinguished. Okay. Is, is there like uh some items I need in here? Like, fuck it. All right, now upstairs. Who the fuck is this? Yo, dude, there's like an old fetus with cerebro shit on his head. Uh, hello? I'm glad you remembered where I was. Do I know you? We've spoken many times, Sal. All right, are you gonna be as cryptic as the voices? Hold on, Jim? What, Jim? Larry's dad? Hey, your wife ended up marrying my dad. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I was once, well, part of me was. I've made my set many sacrifices to get here and I've lost so much along the way. I guess that's a yes on the cryptic thing then. I'm so sorry about your family, Evelyn, Larry, Lisa. Yes, I used to be as well. There was a time when I thought I could save them by changing the future. It was all I wanted. Lisa and Larry were the light of my life. I had never known such a deep love. I do not hold you responsible for their deaths. I understand what had to be done. You lost a lot that day too. But it is the nature of life. All living things must come to an end. I remember what it was like to live, to feel. I do not miss the constant cloud of emotions. It was all for nothing though. The shadows still live and the devourers are going to call forth the plague. What, they're gonna call a bunch of mosquitoes and shit? Their reach has grown too far. I stepped, stopped nothing. I died for nothing. I killed for nothing. You can still stop them if you wish to. In fact, you are the key to their destruction if that means anything to you now. Is this that prophecy nonsense again? I don't think I'm much of a chosen hero. I couldn't save anyone. There are no chosen heroes. Only those who choose to do heroic acts. Win, lose, light or dark good or evil. These things don't hold much significance to me anymore, but I would still like to help you if you so choose. How can I do anything like this? Upon dying, your soul was shattered. This occurrence has awakened a unique ability within you. You will be able to drift into parallel worlds, though it will take some practice. How do I get back to my world? Uh, it will be difficult, but I have prepared for your arrival. I built a device to help you. Yo, for real? I get- I, I just upgraded, now I have the ability to travel between both worlds? I'm a ghost, Sally? Your friend Ashley has gathered a device above your grave in your world. This is good. However, there are more components and they must be aligned across the three realities that they have been hidden in. The three pyramids of Asintma are each sealed with three puzzles. You must gather them all. I knew it. Fucking pozos. The key to life is pozos. I gotta solve pozos. Every fucking day is a pozo. I hate pozos. <laughs> if you hit these pyramids of ass in Ma... <laughs> what? <laughs> or whatever. Can't you just grab them for me? That is impossible. I can no longer intervene in such matters. I have also erased the solutions from my memory. Oh, so you're too good now, huh? You're too fucking good. You like raised up a level in existence and now you can't do shit for the people in the lower class? Is that what this is? You're too good for us now, Jim? However, I can guide you to their locations. Man, fuck you! Okay, well, uh, uh, that will save some time at least. Where do I start? There used to be a door here. Just a second. Um, oh, there's a door. Fuck. Um, um, yeah, right there. Nice, Jim. You'll find your way through that door and keep your wits about you. Uh, alright, Jim, you know what? I'm out. Alright, so I gotta figure out how the fuck to get back to the other reality? Oh, nice! A big giant piece of light! Go in it, touch it, feel it, embrace it!
Whoa. Oh, this is his dad. I'm afraid moving still isn't an option for us. The house has been on the market since, well, for years now. It's an important step that I hope you will be able to take soon. In the meantime, I believe that the cat will be of great comfort to Sal. He's shown a lot of improvement over the past month after he was assigned the kitten. Are you sure he's ready to come home? He's more than ready, Henry. Are you sure you're ready? Yeah, it would be good to have my son back. Where was he? What happened? Oh, probably from rehab, from getting his face all fucked up? Well, this is- this isn't what I was expecting up- Me neither, what?! You have awakened a new soul connection. You may find it a bit strange at first. Actually, it feels pretty natural. Like I've been here the whole time, like waking from a dream. In the beginning, I found the odd sense of familiarity to the- uh, to be unsettling, but I am not like you. You'll find the first pyramid somewhere in this house. Dude, what?! D Bro, I'm like a fucking ca kid's cartoon! There's a letter right here, looks like a letter from Ashley. Sal, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before. I really wanted to. I tried so hard to be there for everyone, and now it's all falling apart. I hope it's not too late to fix things. I hope that I can somehow make up for my mistakes. I need you to know that I- It just ends there. Something must have interrupted her. Oh, so this is- We're back in the- We're back in the house! Oh, and time is frozen. Look at the microwave. 145. Either that or somebody left their ramen in there, and uh, they haven't picked it up. Right, this is the house. Todd's room. It's sealed shut. Fuck. Alright, cool. What's in here? That's the living room. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. What? What? Okay, so that one doesn't move. This one moves that one. Ay, cabron. Like that? And then this one moves all three. Oh, I figured that out quicker than I thought. Like that. No, chingon, wey. La verdad, chingon. I'm fucking smart, dog. Does this open up Todd's room? Back to the living room. Oh, look at the friends. All right, let's go in here. Sally's room. What's in here? Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yes, dude, yes! Is that the guy from Zelda? Is that Beetle from Zelda or whatever his name is? Ah, Beetlejuice! <laughs> his name's Beetle, right? The, the, the salesman from Zelda? Nice, dude. Ya te vi, perro. Ya te vi, cabrón. Picture time. I see your bitch ass. Alright, next. Whoa, what happened here? Is that Maple's? Ma it's jammed shut. Okay, bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. What's over here? A code. A code. 7842. You see that? I'm taking a picture of that, otherwise I'm not gonna remember shit. Oh. Oh, look! There's another code on the TV. What's it for? What does that do? Oh, okay, so there's a connection from that door to this one, and I think I powered it up now. Nice. Okay, so... So there's three pluses up top. Does that mean there's three codes? Okay, so the TV said five... Zero, two, three, and the bathroom said seven, eight, four, two, five, zero, two, three, seven, eight, four, two. Enter. Come on, dog. That's both codes. Seven, eight, four, two. Enter. I bet you this is another one of those fucking solutions that I'm going to have to like look up or something. I'm going to look it up. Was there any? Oh, there's another. Oh, there's another number. One, four, five. Is that- I have to do- Okay, look. That's too many numbers. Okay, so there's... Plus, plus, plus... Yeah, so you enter all three numbers. What if you enter all three numbers? One, four, five, five, zero, two, three, seven, eight, four, two. And I just did that all by memory. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, enter. No. Plus, plus, plus. Oh! Bro, what if you add them up? What if you add 145? What if you add all three numbers up? That's why there's three pluses. 145 plus the other one plus the other one. What if you do that? All right, 145 plus 5023 plus 7842 13010. 13010. Oh shit! I'm smart as fuck, bro. Big brain. Big fucking brain. I know this room. Hey! Fucker! Why? One. Pure. Sal? What the fuck did I just do? No way. Did I really stick my hand out? Soda! Hey! 
Sal? Is that you? I it's me. You sound faint. Why is your ghost like this? How is this possible? There's so many things I want to tell you. The pyramids. Oh, one of them is glowing now. This is closer to what Todd had in his notes. Let me take a look. Yeah, you know, fuck the fact that my entire skeleton's floating in front of you like, uh, and you're just like, oh, uh, Todd's notes were right. Let me take a look. I'd be fucking out of there, dude. Okay, um, what in the actual fuck is that? The three pyramids of mathematics. North west east to be placed around a corpse okay so this is the north pyramid so do i just like press the buttons that are marked on north so black up white left black left white down black left white left did that do anything no it didn't do anything maybe i did it wrong this one this one this one this one this one this one oh it worked! Yo! You did it, Ash! Oh, uh, back here again. Well, uh, on to the next one. Yo! That scared the fuck out of me! This is sick! I was not expect- I'm being revived, dog! I'm being fucking revived! And this is hype! I'm coming back, bitches! Sally Face is coming back to fuck shit up and use the C4 to blow this bitch to pieces, bro! I am hype! Do I go to the black room again? Technology is the perversion of nature, the folly of humankind. Their lust for betterment will be their undoing. That's deep shit, dog. I have no time to be stressing out about technology, man. I, if it wasn't for technology, I, I wouldn't be able to do this and I wouldn't know you got I mean, Fuck off, black room. Technology is the creation of humankind. Humankind is the creation of nature. Thus, technology is the evolution of nature. Thank you, room of light. Thank you. I don't really care, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's no time to get philosophical about technology. Jim, give me some good news, bro. What's up? So, uh, what happened to you? As you know, I was once human. After accidentally discovering a new world, I also discovered love. I died trying to protect that love. My human form was forfeited, and my soul wandered the void for eons. In the endless black, I strived to return home. When I realized it was impossible for me, I found a way to reach into other worlds, a bridge. In order to create such technologies, my soul needed to change. And as I continued to use the bridge, my soul continued to change and evolve. Now I am far from human. What's all this shit, bruh? There's many of the inventions that I have tinkered with. As an engineer in a past life, it seems the desire to create is still within me, a lingering remnant of my lost humanity. All right, I'm out, bro. Ah. Wait, do I go through door three now? Nice, dude. Okay, so let's go back to the cartoon world. Dad, when will mom get out of the hospital? Do you think she'll recognize me with my new face? God damn it, Sal. Can we not do this today? I just miss her. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mom isn't coming home. Wow. What about the man in the do with the dog face? We've been over this. Nobody believes me, but I did see the dog man. That's enough, Sal. Was it a man with the dog face then? I chose the pink one because that's mom's favorite color. I hope she will recognize me with it on. That's fucked up. That's sad. I'm sad again. Whoa! I've been looking for this spot. I spent so much time out here in these woods searching for some evidence that, that this was real. That I wasn't losing my mind. The council went to great lengths to covering it up. They had hidden it with a concealing spell, as they called it. Of course, what they consider magic is merely science that they don't understand. That, that makes sense. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 it makes sense. <laughs> Though I have to be honest, it's a pretty dreary way to explain magic. Anyway, I'm guessing you have some hidden things of your own around here, yeah? The second pyramid is here. Whoa, it's 3D! Look, there's glowing shit up here. Let's go this way. Super Mario 3... Fucking 64, bro. What's that? Okay, well, uh, this is, uh, another puzzle. Okay, so it looks like I can't do anything there for now. I, I can't... I can't press anything or do anything. Oh, there's a button right here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, okay, 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 look. There's squares up here, right? But what? The... Look, the other one is a 3x3. Three three. This one is a 2x3. The squares are. So do I do the 3x3 three three, the suns on the square? Uh, okay, let's try it. That's the only logical thing. I was going to copy what's on the... I, I obviously can't do this because this is a 3x3. Three three. So let's do the suns. The suns were here. Like that. And the moon was... Yes! Con madres, con madres, con madres. Smart as fuck. Hate puzzles, but, but I'm smart as fuck. Okay, I can't touch that yet. Okay. So, uh, there's gotta be another- Aha, there's another, uh, uh, thing over here with- Aha, so the suns actually go here. Like that. Alright! 
That's another one of those power-up things. Oh god. Oh god! Too much, too much, too much! One hour later. Oh! Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! Oh, I'm almost back, bitch. Another one lit up! Here we go. Keep going, Ash. I'm getting closer and closer. You don't look so great, Sal. I'm gonna figure this out. Let's get you back to normal. Easy peasy, bro. These puzzles are easy as fuck. The West piece. It's that, that... No, wait, I fucked up. Oops. These puzzles are easy as fuck. <laughs> yes! It worked! Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm a fucking zombie now, dude. Okay, what you got to- what- what kind of shit you're gonna talk now, Black Room? We are shadows of sleepless dreams. That's depressing. Okay, what about you, White Room? We are the dreamers of all of this. Okay, bro, the Room of Light seems positive, and the Room of Darkness seems fucking depressing. <laughs> Time to go back upstairs. Hey, yo, Jim, fuck off, dog! I'm going- I'm going to the, the next room now! The next place for me to go is this one right here. I'm almost finished. Ooh, what's this world gonna look like? I love how they're, like, interpreting like the different dimensions and shit or my soul transferring in some way like in a different art form every time mom are you ready for your first day of school sally i don't know it'll be fun you'll get to meet a bunch of kids your age and lots of new friends uh-huh but what if they don't like me it's impossible you're the coolest guy i ever met me of course i don't want to leave you mommy you don't have anything to be afraid of, my love. The teachers will take good care of you, and I'll be right here with you to get when you get back. I love you. I love you the most, Sally. Don't you forget it. Oh, this is so heartbreaking. Ay, wait, perate, cabrona, que fuck is this? Fucking Tim Burton looking ass. Is this the cave by the Wendigo Lake? No, don't you don't go to Wendigo Lake, bro. I don't remember it being so big. Do you know the Wendigo? That fool looks fucked up and he eats people. Another illusion created by your favorite cult. Whoa, was that a joke from Mr. Serious? No, it's me, Jim Johnson. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go find the last pyramid. Godspeed. All right, what? Look, I'm not going in the cave because there's something that there, looks like I can get the- Yep, right there. If I can go places where I'm not supposed to, I always go there and I find shit. Puzzles. Look at this bitch. Taking a picture of your ass. Not of your ass, but like of, of your- of. I'm sure there's gonna be something I have to input those colors in later. Probably a secret! I'm down for secret! Let's go in the Wendigo cave. Uh, uh, Tala Gray. Whoa, whoa, back off, dude. I'm tougher than I look. I'm not afraid to put you down. Hey, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I'm just looking for something I lost. Oh, aren't we all? Well, you better not try anything. I'm watching you. I promise I won't. My name is Sal Fisher. Tala Gray. So, what are you doing in these caves, Sal Fisher, besides sneaking up on people? I, I was just about to ask you the same question, bitch. I don't think I've ever seen you around Knockfell before. My relatives are from here. I don't visit too often, but my grandfather has recently gone missing. Unfortunately, that tends to happen a lot around here. I hope you find him. Thanks, my grandfather was fascinated by these caves. He used to tell me that our ancestors made all of these paintings. He said they depicted the warning of a hungry beast that hunts in this land. Have you seen a small metal pyramid around? A small pyramid, huh? I'm guessing that thing you lost? Yeah, I haven't seen anything like that around here. Sorry. Uh, what about some turny hexagons? The fuck? You're just out here with a mask on looking for a bunch of shapes, huh? Uh, it's a prosthetic. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I couldn't be more help with your geometry. <laughs> Look, dude, I failed geometry, so I don't know what you're talking about. What's that? Circles and shapes. Geomet geometrical shapes. Keep going down this cave, dude. We're gonna find this fucking place, and I guarantee you these paintings are probably puzzles. I'm probably not gonna have to remember shapes and, and things that I need to add up. Okay, so triangle, square, square. Oh, that's a, another one of these. We got this. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Uh huh, uh huh. I did it, I did it, I did it. Yeah! Fucking smart dog! First try, let's go! Nice, nice. Here we go, here we go. Yo, Sal looks like he's wearing a VR headset. I don't understand what's happening, but the third one is activated now. Will this bring you back? My ghost will be able to interact, but my body cannot be revived. Are you sure? The prophecies are vague, but they suggest that you will take the physical form. I'm not sure of anything. All right, let me take care of this last pyramid. Well, shit, okay. All right, so. Did that do it? Please tell me that. Ay! It did it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm expecting it, and every time it scares me. Ugh. Damn it. This was supposed to resurrect you. Are you okay? I. It hurts. There's another part to Todd's notes, but I haven't been able to make much sense of them. 
I'm so sorry, Sal. I failed you again. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than me. Wait, I think I know what it means. I know what I have to do. Oh, no. Ash, drrr, don't. I would gladly die if it means that you will live. This is how I can make up for everything I've messed up. Don't. No. Go save them, Sally Face. I hope we meet again. Please don't. D oh! Bro, no. What the fuck? That, you just fucked it all up. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, how many loved ones will you kill to save the world? What will be left worth saving? Are you fucking kidding me? I thought I was about to come back to life and, you know, hit it up with... Have some ghost time with Ashley. Are you okay, Larry? Yeah, dude, I uh, um just got something in my eye. I told you this movie is emotional. It's just so beautiful. I hope they end up together in the end. They deserve happiness after all the shit they've been through. Yeah. Hey, Larry. What? Do you uh do you think that anyone could ever love me like they love each other? Who wouldn't love you? Don't be stupid. You're Sally Face. You're perfect, dude. <laughs> what a great friend, man. Alcohol. No. Okay, I can't touch that. Of course Neil can move in. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask, honestly. His current lease is nearing its end now, which is why I waited. I'd be happy to have him at our place. I'm sure Larry will too, though. Larry probably won't move in until next year. Right, well, thank you. Neil would be excited to hear the news, and I would be very glad to have him close by again. Fuck. Everyone is dead. Ugh. What's wrong, Sal? I'm just no good at this. I'm sorry for wasting your time. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've been having a great time painting with you. You're an amazing artist, Ash, and a wonderful teacher. I will never be as good as you, though. Sure you can. All it takes is practice and determination, but only if you want it, you know? You don't need to be good at everything you do. Some things we do just because they're fun and we like doing them, or even just to spend time with people we like. I guess you're right. And I've been enjoying this time together very much so. I'm glad to hear that. Anytime you want to paint or even just hang out, you let me know. Oh, fuck. Ashley, I wish you would have seen yourself the way I did. You weren't a failure in my eyes. You were always there for me. You gave me hope when I needed it most, even when you saw the horrible things I had done. Even when you couldn't believe the reasons I had to do th these things, you stood by me. That means everything. The ritual requires one final step. Seize the power of the Blade of Osiris. Excuse me? Is that like a brand of water bottles or some shit? Am I about to possess Ashley, dude? What's happening to me? Bro. What? Ash, can you hear me? Sal, where are you? The ritual has awakened a power within my being, but I cannot return to your world. You must be my sword in the darkness. What? This power I feel, is this, this is you? Yes. Holy shit, Sal. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh. <laughs> what? Whoa. Thank you for trusting me with this. Yeah, th thanks for trusting me with me swiping my arm up and down and like a fucking beast. You know, look, I look like Blanca from Street Fighter. I couldn't have obtained this power on my own, Ash. It's all thanks to you. Let's go kick some cultist ass. Bam, bam. Bam! Wham! Bam! Putos, ahora sí tengo el poder de mi brazo chingón! Master sword arm! Bam! <laughs> okay, I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to find out what comes next. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. Let me know down below if you want to see more. Of course you do. We're, we're at the end. We're dead. Like, just start giving me ideas of what you want to see me play next because we're almost done with this. I'm going to finish it right now. But that's it. I love you guys and I'm going to see you next time. Bye!